coming to the final classification that is nutritional classification of protein okay there are three uh, to say uh, three types of uh, proteins are there based on nutrition complete protein partial incomplete protein and incomplete protein okay so now we, i will explain what it mean complete protein or nutritionally rich protein that means so we all studied there are 20 amino acids out of these 20 amino acids 10 are essential amino acids okay so these 10 are supposed to be taken in the diet okay otherwise there is no protein synthesis okay because for protein synthesis all the set of 20 amino acids required right so while taking that food if particular food substance is having all the 10 essential amino acid that protein is known as complete protein or nutritionally rich protein so example egg albumin and casein of milk so try to have a uh, everyday egg which supplies all the set of essential amino acids and you will be good okay and try to have at least glass of a milk every day right and coming to a partial incomplete protein that means if particular protein missing any single amino acid out of 10 essential amino acids that protein is known as partially incomplete protein example wheat and rice proteins and the limiting amino acids are lysine or threonine out of these two anyone will be missing and incomplete or poor proteins in the sense if any protein okay any protein that uh, present in the food lacking one or more more than one okay if it is missing one essential amino acid that will be partial incomplete if it is missing more than two essential amino acid that is incomplete protein okay example is gelatin okay which is lacking tryptophan and jane which is lacking tryptophan and lysine okay in the maize corn maize so biological important peptides so glutathione to talk about mainly the functions of uh, glutathione it's a tripeptide so that means it's made up of three amino acids and the composition is glutathione cysteine and glycine so biologically it is called as gamma glutamyl cysteinyl glycine okay and it exists in reduced or oxidized states okay based on the condition it will convert to reduced form or it can convert to oxidized form okay and coming to the functions of glutathione okay it is serving as coenzyme for certain enzymes like prostaglandin pg to synthetase uh, glyoxylase okay and it prevents the oxidation of sulfhydryl groups of several proteins to disulfide groups okay and third is protein function okay the main third function is protein function and glutathione in association with glutathione reductase participate in formation of uh, to correct disulfide bonds in several proteins okay and the main important function maintains the integrity and shape of rbc membrane okay we all know the significance of shape of the rbc uh, if the shape of the rbc lost it lost the function also so to maintaining this shape of rbc we require glutathione which is present in the membrane of rbc okay and maintains this shape okay and glutathione how it maintains the shape glutathione protects the hemoglobin from getting oxidized by agents such as hydrogen peroxide it prevent it protects the hemoglobin in the uh, uh, which is present inside the rbc from the attack of hydrogen peroxide okay it converts the harmful hydrogen peroxide into peroxide molecules and water molecules okay and glutathione involved in transport of amino acids in intestine and kidney tubules okay and in transport of uh, uh, like amino acids like the glycine and cysteine if uh, this mister cycle is not taking place there is loss of this uh, cysteine and uh, glycine okay along with other two amino acids in the urine leading to amino acid ureas okay that is the significance so for the mister cycle glutathione formation is important if glutathione is not there some of the amino acids will start excreting in the urine and causing amino acid ureas okay and glutathione is also important in detoxification process toxic amounts of peroxides and free radicals which are produced in the cell are scavenged by glutathione peroxidase okay this is a cell based enzyme which requires glutathione okay and it contains a mineral selenium okay so in mcqs they will ask sometimes uh, name a selenium containing enzyme so glutathione peroxidase is the best example what you can give okay and uh, thyrotropin releasing hormone trh uh, thyrotropin releasing hormone for uh, uh, thyroid hormone okay and uh, uh, what is this this is a tripeptide secreted from hypothalamus and uh, 
uh, and also TRH is stimulated by pituitary gland to release thyrotropic hormone. Oxytocin, so it is a hormone secreted by posterior pituitary gland and contains 9 amino acids that means nanopeptide and the main function of oxytocin to cause the contraction of uterus okay and the mammary gland okay for milk production and ejaculation right and vasopressin is an antidiuretic hormone ADH which retains the water from the globular I mean glomerulus nephr uh, nephrons of kidney angiotensin it's a decapeptide that means it is made up of 10 amino acids which is converted to angiotensin 2 and this angiotensin 2 stimulates the release of aldosterone from adrenal gland stress hormones and methionine and uh, encephalin okay and it is a phenoto uh, what to say penta pentopeptide that means five amino acids are there which is mainly uh, found in brain and has a opiate like function it inhibits the sense of pain okay it inhibits the sense of pain bradykinin they are also nana i mean uh, nona and decapeptides act as powerful vasodilators it produces from plasma proteins by snake venom enzymes okay and peptide antibiotics such as gramicidin okay uh, bacitracin uh, tyrosidin okay and uh, actinomycin which are all peptide in nature okay and GAT hormones like gastrin secretin they are like uh, digestive hormones okay gas I mean gastric hormones okay which aids in digestion so that's all about protein chemistry and amino acids thanks for listening thank you